On Thursday, August 1st, Pikeville Fire Department hosted a ribbon-cutting event to officially open their Fire Station 2 location after four years of construction. City officials and supporters of the department showed up to congratulate them and get a tour of the new facility. Pikeville Fire Chief Johnny Cole tells us more about Fire Station 2 and the department's plans for it. We're on the main end on the south end of town here in Pikeville. Uh, before, we was up in Isla Creek. Um, if you're not familiar with that, it's a two-lane road. It, sometimes it's a slow response due to weather or uh, a train uh, that's going through, and we may have to be delayed for a minute or two. With us being on US 23, it's direct access to the roadway. Uh, the benefits of it is these guys are always trained. They're trained in all areas of the job, uh, so that means that we don't have to take a couple extra minutes to get somebody there. They have all the equipment, all the necessary training to be in this area, and it just provides a better uh, safety and dependability for our residents in our city. Do you worry about having enough money to last throughout retirement? Give Reed Potter at Raymond James a call. Reed has 26 years experience helping folks enjoy their best life in their retirement years. The joint effort between Pikeville Fire Department and the City of Pikeville to open Fire Station 2 was a tremendous success. Members of the department are more than happy with their new equipment and utilities. This has been a great uh, joint effort between the City of Pikeville and all our grants that we've been out applying for. Our city manager, the uh, commissioners, uh, Ashley Childers that has left us and went somewhere else. And then uh, Brad and the public safety director, Philip Reed, has been a great asset to us. And this has been one of those things that has provided not just the comfort of knowing that our, our citizens is gonna be served, but these guys are in a new station. They got top of the line equipment, they got top of the line uh, bedding, uh, living quarters, it's just so much better than what they was used to. It was an outdated station uh, that we made the best that we could out of it. And we're very grateful that the city allowed us to be in a brand new station, brand new equipment. It's just been a true blessing for us. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.